Each week, American History TV's Real America brings you archival films that help tell the story of the 20th century. This building holds in trust the records of a nation. It is the United States National Archives in Washington, D.C. Here are preserved the documents most cherished by Americans, the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights, and many other records that explain the institutions and history of the United States. The three great charters are carefully preserved for future generations. To protect them from harmful dust and chemicals in the air, each parchment sheet has been separately sealed within a glass and bronze case containing only the inert gas, helium, and a proper amount of moisture. To shield them from damaging light rays, special yellow filters have been installed in the glass covers of the shrine and over the spotlights that illuminate it. Twenty feet beneath the shrine, a specially constructed vault provides safe storage for the documents when they are not on display or in case of fire. At a moment's notice, an electrically operated mechanism will safely lower the encased documents into this massive vault. Provision has been made for operating the mechanism should electric power fail. Thus, the National Archives has taken every possible precaution for the safe keeping of these historic documents. Here, the documents are being lowered by scissor jacks into the vault. After they are securely in place, the interlocking leaves of the vault's heavy lid close. Sound recordings also are kept by the National Archives. In its library are the recorded voices of such well-known Americans as Theodore Roosevelt and Franklin D. Roosevelt. The principles for which we stand are the principles of fair play and a square deal for every man and every woman in the United States. So first of all, let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. In this theater, historic films are shown on request to those who need to study them. These scenes are from the inaugurations of Presidents McKinley and Wilson. The National Archives is a custodian of the living past and a link with the unborn future. There is significance in the phrases, study the past and what is past is prologue. These are carved beneath the statues flanking one entrance to this beautiful building in which are preserved the drama and romance of America's history. <laughs> 